Good morning. I'm Dr. Usha Jain. I'm a practicing physician in Orlando in Dr. Phillips area for 36 years. I specialize in anti-aging and regenerative medicine, emergency medicine, and pediatrics. It is an honor to be here to share with you my personal experience that proves the greatness of America. In my experience, the United States of America is the best country in the world. Wouldn't you agree with me? That's why people from all over the world come here. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the greatness of America is the right to protest for the rights. And that is exactly what I did. I have my own medical center and my husband and I also owned a few hotels in Orlando. We faced frivolous lawsuit in the federal court from four employees who were working for us. They claimed that we made them work 24 seven because we allowed them to live in the hotel for $200 a week. That claim was false. They never worked more than four hours a day. And they chose their own hours and they never have to work any set hours in a day. In the beginning, they were very appreciative. One, because they had a roof over their head. Second, they didn't have to drive to work. And third, they had a complete job security. That all changed when they found out I was a medical doctor. They found out I was a doctor because they found a medical journal which says Usha Jain MD. We had regular communications with them and they never mentioned a problem working for us. But guess what? We got a demand letter from their attorney. That was a total surprise for us. We both went to the hotel the very same day and we didn't find anyone in the room. After that day, they continued to stay at the hotel, but they never worked. After two weeks, they left. And later we found out that their attorney was paying for their housing. This was all new to us. We didn't know what to do. We consulted many attorneys and uh, everybody, everyone told us that you have to settle this claim because nobody wins the wage in our claim. We could not believe that we could not defend this claim, especially when we help them for staying, roof over their head, for a little bit of a work. We had a choice between settling the claim or defending the claim. From the business point of view, it would be okay to settle the claim, give them money, what they want, and move on. But especially we helped them, and we felt that it would be wrongful to pay the money our settlement according to their demand. So we decided to defend the claim. The first attorney we hired promised us that he will fight till the end. But then after a couple of months, he started asking for settling the claim, which we did not agree. And then after two months, he said that he cannot represent anymore and abandon the case. When we hired second attorney, he promised us that he will take our case all the way to the appellate court if he had to. But then after a few months, he also started asking for settlement. At that time, we decided to represent ourselves. I had to work very, very hard to learn the court system. But I'm a daughter of an honest attorney who was famous for his honesty and never lost a case. He always helped the people. And for that reason, I was persistent not to give the settlement for the wrongdoings. We tried to collect the evidence to show that we were innocent and actually we were helping these people. I took deposition and we found that the other side, opposing counsel, made a false document. We found out that attorney's paralegal forged the signature of one of the plaintiffs who sued us, who was not even there. He was in California. How an attorney's paralegal, under his direction, can forge a signature, especially in America? Attorney is a officer of the court. Making a false document and forging a signature is unthinkable. We complained to the Florida governor, Rick Scott, and uh, they reprimanded the office of that lawyer and a paralegal. 
His conduct as an officer of the court, the part of U.S. justice system is appalling and destructive. You and I, if we do false document, forge a signature, guess what? We'll be in the jail. But how an attorney can get away with that? They thought they can walk all over us because we were self-representing. They forgot. They live in America. I am a doctor. I have no law degree. I am a naturalized citizen with less proficiency in English. And I was able to defend the claim, which all the attorneys say that is not defendable. We believed in America. We knew that we did not do anything wrong. And at the end, the opposing attorney had to drop all the claim. Right away, he got zero dollar. How about that? I think everybody needs to cheer up for that, for justice system of America, the best justice system in the world. My story proves that American justice system works. And I hope you all stand on your ground if you're not guilty of any wrongdoing. And God bless the USA.